Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and variations thereupon. Welcome back to the A Better Gaming channel. I am Nero, and today we are taking another fantastic little foray into the fantastic world that is RimWorld. Okay then, well, let's go ahead and get the show on the road, shall we? So, a couple of things that I would like to get done for today is I want to finish our kill box. We are almost complete with that. And I want to get everything kind of moved over into our laboratory. We're going to need some power over here, obviously. But next, we need to kind of start thinking about adding some more of these traps. We don't want to do the deserter because this is going to make us an enemy of the Empire, and I really don't want to be an enemy. 24 days. That is a really long time. So we're going to we're going to we're going to decline that. Obstructed generator. Which one? Oh, okay. Well, let's just get these deconstructed then, shall we? Our psychoids are growing. Or will grow here soon. 80%. Excellent. I feel though like we do need to get more of a power situation figured out. And I'm very tempted to go for geothermal power. Let's go ahead and set this to not allow for now. And let's get some other work done. So if we come down here to research, we are of course still working on gas operation. And this is almost um, almost halfway, but I'm going to make a quick change in tactic here over to geothermal power. Because obviously this setup is not quite working well enough for us. We have some idle droids, so we might as well send them out to go do some mining. Get some of that delicious steel in here. And get some more of these traps. Actually, we don't need them here. Do we? Because if they come in this way... Yes, okay. Like so... So this one will remain closed. Okay, yes, so that'll be fine. Let's go ahead and plop down. A couple more. And then we'll throw in one right there. Now, hopefully this means that we are going to be basically turtled up to the max. That is our plan. And I think I want to start another little quarry right out here. We've got the one here with the marble, but I would like to have one with granite. What have we here? Quest available. Caribou sitting. For 11 days, he's making a request. He wants you to take care of two caribou at base one for 11 days. For his favorite pets. Royal favor. You know what? Yes. Let's, let's go ahead and do this. We will accept for royal favor. And we are going to accept with droid zero. <laughs> this quest will reward royal favor and thus royal titles for droid zero. Droid zero is incapable of social tasks. Those with royal titles have great need of social skills. So if droid zero gains a title, he may have difficult time. Another colonist might be more socially adept. Quiet, you. We will make our droid a royal. So we're going to create an animal zone. So let's go ahead and do that right now. A new zone. 
we're gonna rename this animal zone and they're basically gonna be allowed to go anywhere in this sort of area that they wish we can go forage let's move our plants if they must but basically I just don't want them going and escaping or getting killed by an unfortunate event fantastic we can keep these alive I'm sure we've got our nice little turtle base As I was saying, I would like to get another quarry going out here. Visitors have arrived at base one. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get some guest beds. That's probably something we should do. And do we have many granite blocks? We do not. We have lots of marble blocks. Let's go ahead and build this out of marble. And we'll just build a tiny little guest house outside. Obviously, the battery, pa the power is becoming much more of an issue. Unfortunately, we, or fortunately, we do have some batteries to kind of tide us over, and we can turn some things off to try to help with that. Perfectly. Overnight, we have a nice little guest room. So we'll just put some, let's see, I've got quite a bit of wood. So we'll just make some standard wooden beds in here for the guests. This will be the guest closet. And anyone else can just sleep on the floor. And we'll just set these all for guests. Now that the power is back, let's go ahead and toggle this back on. And then I would actually like to deconstruct this research bench so that we use the faster one. I believe our best bet is going to be to put it out here and to wall it in and then create a passageway through here. Maybe double or triple walls around it to kind of prevent, hopefully with sappers. And let's go ahead and reinstall our chair over here for Kasumi. There we go. Eventually, I would like this to be a better dining room. And that's kind of what I'm thinking we'll do with that. Fantastic. So hopefully from this quarry, we can pull uh, granite. And from this one, we can pull marble. Therefore, we won't have to really deal with strip mining so much because I don't like bug infestations. Hopefully, we're not digging into Undermountain over here too much. And if we are, well, we'll probably just have to deal with it. We are digging into the Undermountain, sadly. Oh, bummer. Well, this will just have to do 
and we'll just have to risk it. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure if quarries bring about bugs anyway, so we could be in danger over here now that I'm thinking about it. We might actually want to actually de deconstruct this now that I'm thinking about it, because I would rather the bugs be outside our defenses rather than inside. So let's go ahead and do that. I can put a quarry anywhere else over here. I do not want the bugs springing up on the inside of my base. If I can help it. And obviously, some of the droids are having to rely on these batteries because our power situation is just not ideal. As soon as the wind dies, everything just basically falls apart. Once the quarry has been deconstructed, you can designate colonists to cover over the old ground with soil in order to use... Okay, interesting. Royal Ascent. Nope, can't do this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and reclaim the soil. And is that under orders? Never done this before. This is interesting. Or is... Oh, a meditation spot. We will have to dig into that here at some point. We just have a meditation spot out here in the garden. That sounds good. Um, let's take a look at floor, shall we? Reclaim, reclaim soil. Very good. We probably should get a light in here. Obviously, I know we're kind of short on power, but... All of our manpower, or droid power rather, seems to be taken up by our agriculture at the moment. And we're not really gaining that much power from here. This is very unfortunate. Obviously, our power constraints are becoming much more of an issue. For now, I would like you to come out and just mine this all out, please. As we are getting very low on steel after all of our traps. We do have a big chunk over here, but eventually, and we do have a vein over here. But eventually we will have to consider deep drilling but there is quite a bit on this map so i'm not super worried about it at the moment how are our animals they seem to be at least eating so that's good and we are are so also going to need to start thinking about our drug production i think we're going to have our drug production Perhaps over here? I know we had considered putting it in here, and we might have to do that. For now, I think that that's where we're going to have to go. Let's get our small drug lab in here. Obviously, steel is still kind of an issue at the moment considering all of our steel is going into our traps. But 
we can go ahead and just not do those for now until we build up a little bit more of a supply. We have enough here to basically stop almost anything. Famous last words, am I right? But what we don't have is we do not have our kill box finished. So this is going to be our back wall. And the entry is going to be on this side. No, I did that wrong. Entry for the back wall will be on this side. And then we will place our embrasures right over here. So let's go ahead and get our embrasures going. And I will make them out of granite, which we don't have quite at the moment, but we will eventually. And then the entry point for this will be on this side over here. And of course we have our first raid, the blood unit. They are attacking immediately. Okay. Well, who's our droid one, one is our first one. So let's go ahead and mark these. This one wants to be held open. That one's not. So they will come in through here. This, so this one will not be held open. And this one will not be held open. I'm going to need to deconstruct the doors that are, of course, Oh, that's actually going to be really close. That was very close, actually. So hopefully they will come along through here. They are attacking that door. So let's go ahead and draft everybody. In case... And of course, that was completely unnecessary because... Everything went according to our plan. Now, let us see if there's anyone that we would like to save to throw in the tank. So we've got a couple here still alive. Uh, death in four hours. Death in three hours. Improvised reproduction organs. Okay, you do you. Death in three hours. So why don't you come down here and try to... Stabilize. Uh, Droid Zero, would you please come down and stabilize? And Droid One, will you please come down and stabilize? What this means is we're going to need to build a few more of these tanks. Now, unfortunately, we don't have enough steel yet, which is unfortunate. I kind of want to stick them all in here. I think that that's hilarious. As you walk into our base, the first thing you see is a bunch of robots or a bunch of people in power tanks. So let's actually go ahead and start that. We are going to need a place to put them, and I think the guest room is going to be good for now. So what we're going to do is mark this for prisoners. Once they're all stabilized, this one apparently decided to get back up. That was very rude. So this door is going to need to be deconstructed, as does this door here. Let's 
too bad that we couldn't save the other one, but he decided to attack us on sight. So droid zero and droid two are doing that. Droid one, would you please come out and just get us some steel so that we can build our next, our tanks, please. Thank you. Death in 12 hours, that's more death in six hours. Go ahead and capture, and then we can do proper medical care. Droid zero. Already working on it, fantastic. And they're going to survive. Now, I didn't even take a look at these guys because we're not going to recruit any of them. We've already decided that we're doing robots only. Transhumanists, Xenophile. Yeah. I mean, they're all right, but we're not, we don't need humans except for batteries. So Droid 1, you're out here mining. Excellent work. Let's go ahead and get some more orders to mine deeper. Do we have enough to build one of these? No, we do not. Okay, so droid one. In fact, you know, to make this easier, I'm just going to go to droid one. You're our main constructor. Who is our miner? Droid two is haul and clean. Droid two is grow and construct. So droid one, you will also mine when you're not constructing. That will be your purpose in life. And we've got some weapons, so we might as well allow them. And what is this? We actually have a rubble pistol. Well, let's go ahead and do the allow tool. I love that tool. Sensory Mechanites. Two of your colonists have gotten sick with Sensory Mechanites. Ensure they have a medical bed and a doctor. Okay, Winters. That's the, um... Who is Winters? <laughs> the one in the tank has Sensory Mechanites. Oh, I'm so sorry. But I also saw that one of our robots has Sensory Mechanites. I don't even know how that's possible, but I find that hilarious. I think we need to go ahead and toggle on granite blocks, but we don't have any. Right now we're just being kind of held back by our production of steel. And they're putting all of this. Okay, we're going to not allow this for now. I need all of this steel to go into here because I don't want to deal with and another raid. Okay, well, it's just a few tribesmen, but nevertheless, let's go ahead and thank you, Randy Random, for possibly solving our power issues. Let's go ahead and make everyone stay inside the base for the time being. And we will go ahead and these doors are still closed, so that's fine. Unfortunately, as you see, our battery has broken in the middle of the night, but we got that repaired thanks to the little bit of steel we were able to glean. I am going to mark, if we're stuck inside, I am going to mark this steel over here for mining because we are in desperate need for it. And of course, here we see... Our first react bioreactor is ready. So what we are going to do is who is not busy?
Battle droid, would you please go take Mary to the bioreactor? Thank you very much. And that should be quite a decent amount of power. Now, I am not expecting them to be any issue for our traps, but nevertheless, let's go ahead and draft all of our peoples. And they are fleeing. And unfortunately, Randy and his infinite wisdom did not give us any more meat for the bioreactors. And that's fine. Let's go ahead and unrestrict everyone from going outside. Hmm. Where was I? Sign. There, schedule. There we go. Unrestricted for everyone, except for our recruiter, who shall remain inside the base at all times. Fantastic. And we'll go ahead and allow these to be built. Once we get more steel coming in. So this is outputting a thousand watts, which as you can see is definitely helping out our meager power supply. This is just waiting on steel. So hopefully we can go get this done. One colonist idle. Well, why don't you come sit down and hibernate? You're really not needed right now, but thank you for your interest. Eventually, I will have, I think I'll have all the bioreactors in here, and it will be our little hall of horrors. We just need to make sure that there is no undermountain dug out here, because that would be very, very unfortunate. Actually, in hindsight, I'm probably going to move these, because here was my thinking. If we do get a really massive raid with, like, a big rocket launcher, and it fires right over into this area, blows open the wall, this area is uh, susceptible to damage. And if these are exploded, we can't just simply rebuild them. This reclaiming of soil is taking quite a while, and so I'm actually going to cancel that for now. We can always do it at a later date, but for right now, it's just digging up too much work. I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to build a, a small little hut out here for our bioreactors. So while they're off doing that, let's go ahead and figure it out. We do not want to interact with this at all. So we can do something like a 10 by 10. And this shouldn't... Nope, that would actually... I miscalculated there. So if we did... That's still... Yep, okay. So don't mind me. I'm just a dum-dum. So if we did something along the lines of this... This could potentially be our place for the bioreactors and just pack it cram full. I kind of like the idea of having a shed out back that is just essentially human bodies. After this is mined in, we are going to fill this in again because I don't want to deal with bugs coming in behind us. And I am noticing that I cannot relocate these. Maybe perhaps I have to take the people out first. We shall see. We're still waiting on our granite. We need steel. Okay, well, come mine away, please. We have plenty of it. 
Yes, I know you're anxious to build, but we need we need materials first. You know, for some easy steel, we might as well just deconstruct these ship parts. And unfortunately, Emily is no longer incapable of walking. And Emily is now going berserk. Well, okay. Who is our melee? Do we have a melee droid? I suppose droid one, you can be our melee person. Actually, you can be our melee. So we're gonna have you equip that. You're gonna equip as a sidearm and you're going to switch and you're gonna come over here and hopefully And she's down. Excellent. No, oh, just down. Go ahead and recapture while you're right here. Thank you. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set everyone to mine at one because obviously this is not working we need to get our mining underway i have a, a deep need for steel and it is not being met we should go ahead now and see about our our little experiment if these can be removed they cannot so let's go ahead and deconstruct this one here and only 90 steel so that should be enough to our toys on this and then we can just throw winters back into where did our person go no I, I would like you to finish one before you start another thank you not going to be able to get up and walk away for a minute. So now I would like you come over here and carry her to the bioreactor. And she has an infection. Well, hopefully this will keep her stable for the moment. Go throw some random food chunks into the bioreactor, please. And Randy has given us some extra steel, so let's mark these for deconstruction. I think this... We might not even have to do bioreacting at the moment, thanks to all of the uh, people that Randy has blessed us with. So let's go ahead and take droid two. And make him...
Hmm. Injured. Okay, well, can you... No, I can't even select her. That's weird. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up. And then mark this for deconstruction. I know, I know that we are not doing this as efficiently and I should have thought it out better ahead of time, but hey, that's what... It is what it is. So let's go ahead and make this throw them in there. Excellent. So now we're generating 2,000 watts electricity. Fantastic. And the steel production is definitely taking off. We're getting our traps all set up. However, I do wish that we could get this other mine going so that we could finish our embrasures, which we will do this episode before the time comes to an end. Excellent. Droid 2 is mining, Droid 1 is cleaning, but what I would like you to do is just go make some blocks for us, please. Thank you. Ah, yes, our glorious quarry is about to begin. Capable of walking still? Well, might as well go wash her. Oh, and let's go ahead and open this and take his clothes, because why not? What are you doing? You're building the quarry. You are digging at compacted steel. So I would like you to come open up. Thank you. And then strip and then put them back in the bioreactor. Thank you. Oh, and I don't have a I don't have a guest bed for him, that's unfortunate. are low yes yes indeed but don't worry soon we'll have an as soon as she's emily is done healing we'll have another body to throw in the reactor i think what i'm going to do is instead of filling these up i will wall them off but i will put explosives inside so if they do tunnel up through here then boom that will be a future plan for later though however and we never did actually get our oh look at all those psychoid leaves oh my we had a drug lab for a moment and then we took it apart because I'm a dum dum sometimes Bad temperature. Eh, it's fine. They're robots. They can deal with it.
Blue Moon is not happy with us, obviously. They will never be happy with us. Most likely. Yeah, let's go clean the dirt, Droid 2. Clean it. Okay, so we have our drug lab. So I believe what we are going to do is actually make Yayo. Something that we can sell pretty easily. And we are just going to do this forever. And then we'll just manually suspend it when we're ready. Obviously the battle droid cannot. But we'll never synthesize drugs. What about you, Kasumi? You will. So why don't you just go make us some drugs real quick? And these will sell for a decent ch chunk of change. And we also need to get communication up and going. So that we can, of course, sell our stuff. It's taking a while to get fully healed before we can throw her in the tank. Maybe if I set these all to not prisoners, maybe I can weird weird indeed finally getting these embrasures up and going eventually i would like to cement this whole area but for now this is going to be perfect and actually i would like to deconstruct this one because we're gonna put some sandbags around this corner to prevent them from just sitting right here Desperately, yeah, because as soon as it's night and then it just the wind stops blowing, we just do not have enough power. Which is quite annoying. And this should basically allow us to just directly get some more granite. Need warm clothes. Okay, well, Indoors, it is definitely getting a little chilly, so we should probably think about heaters. And again, another power draw. This is... Ooh, power problems, eh? What is that? An animal tree? Interesting. That's a new thing. We might have to do geothermal power. Oh, this droid will make droids. Oh, look at that. We can have droids make drugs. That is just fantastic news. How's our prisoner doing? Oh my goodness. It has taken her forever to heal up. Hypothermia, shivering. So close. I don't know why I'm not able to select her. I don't know if it's bugged. Prisoner, no interaction. We'll mark it to recruit. That way, if she joins, we'll just throw her in there anyway. Yes, it's a trap. A beautiful trick. A 
Emily's going berserk. Excellent. Who is our melee person? That is Droid 2, which is all the way over there. She was almost healed, unfortunately. Go down. Thank you. So let's just stabilize her real quick. And then we'll throw her in the tube. Apparently I destroyed her left leg. Wow. Emily is going to have a terrible time. Ugh. And then she goes back and lays down. Okay, well, here's what we're going to do then. Okay. And then we're just going to go throw her in the bioreactor, wounds and all. Because, I'm sorry, but we need power and you can just be in pain. Excellent. Hopefully this another thousand watts will tip us over the edge. And this geothermal power. Excellent. I wish the wind would blow more though. It's still not enough power. Power, power, power. Okay. Well. We've got our drugs going, and I think this is a good we've had two raids. This is a good place to call the episode. So, when I come back we are gonna solve our power issues because we don't have enough people to throw in the tubes we're gonna have to supplement it unfortunately i thought maybe for a minute that we could just live off of people power but it's not enough we are hungry for power so i think we're gonna try to do something with geothermal out here and try to figure out a way to protect it so um if you enjoyed this episode go ahead and give it a thumbs up um, also, I do stream on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday, and so if you want to hang up there, that's where you can find me. And once again, thank you for hanging out, and farewell. <laughs>